Hey there everybody, Bradley's Fan 9 here with Mr. Peach. If you watched my video yesterday, part 13 of the Bandwave videos, you will have know kind of already what this is going to be about. But I showed you a quick way how to use Alt Store on a PC to get iSpoofer downloaded onto your device so that you could avoid using direct download. It's a free method and you don't have to use IPA Store either, which is a paid method. So this is an alternative to direct download, which is similar to City Impactor, but I should mention it requires <clears throat> the most recent iOS. So if you have a device that's iOS 12, you may be, before you want to upgrade that one to check out the iTools and see what that's about, because you could spoof anywhere using an iTools device if you have iOS 12 or lower on an, your device. So... Keep in mind, don't just quickly go to iOS 13 and try this out if you have an iOS 12 device, but this will only work for people with up-to-date iOS. I just want to make that clear. So I have a device, iOS 12, I'm not going to do this on, but I have an extra device here. So you can see, I spoofer, waiting for people to jump in this Latius raid. Not happening, but either way, I'm playing. Direct download still down. IPA store still has version 3.8.3 .3 at the time of this video. So neither of those options work to play iSpoofer, but it's still possible, as you can see. So I'm going to show you a detailed description, visual, mirroring my computer, showing you exactly how to do it step by step so you could follow along and get iSpoofer going on your device as well, if that's what you want to do, and that's why you came here to see, most likely. So let's get to that. Okay, so here you go. To start off, you're going to want to go to the iSpoofer installation page. Now that could be a little tricky to find. You can find it on my website or in the description below of this video. But I'll show you here if you just simply go to bradleysfan9.com slash spoofing vault. And it should send you to here, unless I screw it up. Nope, looks good to me. So then you go down here, and then you see iSpoofer direct download link. Just click here, and it'll bring you to the correct page. It can be kind of a pain in the ass to try and Google and find out, so I just find that's the best way to help people find a quick link to it. Just go to my spoofing vault, and that will be there all the time for you to come to this page. So, now that we're here, you can see that it's down for maintenance. If It says, if the install link is not working and you're tired of revokes, please try an alternative install service. So, as I've mentioned before, you can see number three here, IPA store, but that one's currently not working. There's another paid install service, the Pokey X. I believe that's just for Pokemon. I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you too much about it, but it's similar to IPA store. And then here, you can see it says... Install IPA via Alt Store. PC required. Sounds like City Impactor. So once you go here, you're going to want to click that number one there and it'll bring you to this page. So then you can see here it does show you the step by step, which is not too hard to follow, but I'll show you here just the example because the steps kind of weren't 100% what happened on my computer, but I'll describe that when we get there. So here, you're going to want to start off by downloading the recent iSpoofer IPA. The IPA is basically the app file that you're going to load onto your device. So at any time, you can plug your device into your computer. As you can see, people did end up jumping in a Latius raid. Ah, it's just a crappy 71% red one. Don't even really want them, but whatever. So to properly hook it up to your computer, as you can see here, these are the requirements or the things you're going to need. So I already have iTunes for Windows. It says it must be downloaded from Apple's site and not Microsoft Store. Not too sure what exactly that would entail, but just avoid using Microsoft Store to download any of these. So start off with iTunes. It doesn't tell you that in the step-by-step, -step, so just make sure you have that on there and then connect your device. You can connect it at any time during this process. So step one, it says it wants you to download and install the Alt Store server for your OS from the link above. So link above, Alt Store server. So click that one, 
it'll bring you to this page. I haven't tried it for Mac. I'm not too sure if you could do all of this on a Mac or not. But you're just going to go ahead and click the windows. And then as you can see here, this is what it'll download. So yeah, just accept that stuff. But I already had it downloaded, as I told you, I've got it going, so I'm just going to exit out of that. So that's step one there. So when you do that, it should be in your C drive under Program Files. Mine went under the x86 here. And then as you can see here, the Alt server. Now this is the app itself, if you want, you could just right click. Send to desktop so we're ready for that whenever we need it. So that's it for step one. Now it says, be sure to uncheck the auto update option when installing to avoid the exploit being patched in the future. Now it didn't give me, give me this option until I completed step two, so keep that in mind. So step two, download and install iCloud for Windows. Now you could click here to download it, but it actually just automatically started for me after I did step one. So I just said yes, downloaded it, and then after that, you install it, and then you have to restart your PC. Pretend I just go and restart the PC. Now we're going to move on to step three. So with the PC restarted, you're going to want to go back to this page here, download and run the alt server patcher from the link above. So there's alt store server and the alt server patcher. So now we're going to go to the patcher. And you're just going to go and download that. So you download complete, you don't got to create an account or anything. So now if you go into your files and go to downloads, there you go, alt server patcher. And then this is what will pop up on your computer here. As I said, there may be a couple of different messages because I already have this stuff downloaded. But if you're following along, this should be working for you. So now, you're going to want to go to the utility to install section. And you're going to want to go, it won't be on custom IPA link, it'll be on alt store default. So you're going to want to go down and hit custom IPA link. And then as you see here, you're going to want to copy and paste the following link into the IPA URL section here. So if you're on this page already, you could just highlight this, copy it, paste. So there you go, you have that in there. And then once that's in there, you hit the patch button. There you go, success. It's, so that means it's ready to put the IPA file that you downloaded onto whatever device you have ready to go. So now we're going to go and locate and run the alt store server that I showed you. I put a shortcut to the desktop. So we're going to go and find that. And we're going to double click that. Now you're wondering, it's not opening. What the hell? As you see here, it says it'll be running directly from your taskbar. So we're going to go down here. This is our taskbar. And you see this little faint diamond symbol here click on that and then you can see in this little drop down section install alt store and then right beside that is going to be your device as long as it's plugged in properly so keep that in mind if it's not showing up your device open iTunes and then once that connects to your device it should be an option there so we should be able to close iTunes at this point Alright, so once you're here, you're going to have to type in your Apple ID. Now, I believe this has to be the Apple ID that's tied to your device itself. So, I tried using a different Apple ID that is not the one I'm actually signed into on my phone, and it wasn't letting me install it. So, keep in mind, I believe it has to be the same Apple ID that's on your device. And it says if you put it on a go to put it on a second device, 
it'll tell you that it'll stop working on your other device. So keep that in mind. You may only be able to do one device unless you want to put a different Apple ID signed in to your second device. So either way, that's just a little extra information. So you're going to want to type in that Apple ID and password. All right, so once you have that in there, you just hit install. Now I'm not going to click it because I already have it installed. But once it does that, it just says it'll take a few minutes to get put onto your device. So that was the last step. So then you just wait a little bit and then eventually you will see the little Pokemon Go app symbol there. That'll just eventually pop up on your device. And then once that's up, you're going to have to regularly what you normally do, go into your settings, general, profiles and device management. And then under profiles and device management, your email should be there. And then you're just going to want to go in and then hit trust. Once you do that, you should be able to open the app itself and start playing Pokemon. So I hope that helped you figure out a different way how to install iSpooer without relying on the direct download. It does require a PC and most up-to-date iOS, so I hope all the information was helpful and I hope that was easy to follow along and helped you get going yourself. So thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in my other videos.